What's going on, everybody? AJ Shula here, going to give you guys the UFC Vegas 29 prize pick selections. Two of them for this week. Uh, last week was a success. Um, if you've been following along, they've been a success for a little bit here. Uh, not trying to say that to brag, but I'm just trying to show that there is an edge to be had with prize picks, and I really want you to take advantage of it. And I also want you to take advantage of the fact that you can use promo code AJ100 to receive up to 100% instant deposit bonus for up to a hundred dollars. In other words, if you deposit a hundred dollars in a prize pick, prize picks, excuse me, with your first deposit, you get an additional hundred free dollars. So how awesome is that? So you get to go on there, you get to make your selections, you get to win your selections, and you also get some some free spending money to to play with, right? So with that out of the way, uh, the banner isn't annoying enough. I just really want to get that out to you because I think it's such a great opportunity. Um, and let's talk about this thing, right? So if you're unfamiliar with prize picks, basically it's just you versus a projection. You're not worried about beating out other people in contests. There's really essentially no competition when you really think about it. There's a projection that the that the app makes, whether it's significant strikes, takedowns. Uh, there's a fantasy score, though that's been down for the past couple of weeks. Um, there's also the fight time. And then they have various fights on the fight card that they hone in on certain fighters. Uh, and then they, it is up to you to select an over or under on at least two selections. You need to select basically two legs to think of it as like a parlay um, for you to actually make an entry. So it's one entry needs to have at least two legs, two selections. And we'll talk about two that I really like. And with that, you can have the option when you do make your entries of doing a flex or a power play. Flex, basically only one of the legs needs to cash and you actually double your money upon one or the other of them cashing. But power play, if they both cash, you obviously get more profit, exponentially higher. But I don't like to get too cute with it. I like to get the flex play out of the way. Um, I'd rather just double my money and have a higher chance of it hitting than, you know, I have to rely on both legs cashing or, or more if you want to make it a longer parlay. But that's just me. You could do whatever you want, obviously. But, yeah, let's get into the selection, shall we? So the first fight I really want to talk about is – Bruno Silva and Wellington Terman. So I really like the under 12 and a half minutes here for a few different reasons. Well, one, if you're a stats guy, I think you'll like this. So 22 out of Silva's 27 fights have gone under the 12 and a half minute mark, right? So that's a high percentage. Um, considering there's no odds here, we're just given the number 12 and a half. I really like the under for that reason. And if you combine them both, like both of their careers combined, you look at the under two and a half rounds, how often that's cash. It's actually cashed at a 68% rate. Obviously, that's not 100%, but it's more than 50. And that's essentially what I like. That's essentially tells me that there's some value there. And when we look at this matchup stylistically, I feel like it's going to be one-way traffic for one fighter or the other. Um, and when we have that, we typically see a finish because if there's just a wide skill gap, you know, a finish can materialize, not because a fighter... Uh, isn't durable or isn't tough or something like that. They're just simply outmatched in that particular area. Um, you know, we've seen examples like this in the past, you know, Manny and Faro taking on, um, taking on Ricci a couple cards ago, right? You know, Ricci, you know, I think a lot of us acknowledge she was a super tough girl, but, you know, Faro just had her vastly out, uh, outmatched on the feet. Um, but I'm not trying to say the exact same thing will happen here, but I'm trying to give the point being that you could just be so much more skilled than the opposition, regardless of how tough they are, and you could still get a finish. And I think that's what could happen here because in the striking department, I think it's going to be all Silva. He seems like he's more technical, dangerous striker. He's coming in here on a two-year layoff. That's why I'm saying seems like. I have to go off the tape from what I've seen, uh, his M1 global tape. But basically what I'm trying to say is here, take it with a grain of salt because you never know how a guy's going to be looking you know, post USADA, you know, two, two plus year layoff. Right. So, uh, got to go off what the eyes tell me, but he's a better striker. I'd be pretty surprised if after this time, he isn't the better striker than Terman. Um, Terman, we just saw in his last fight knocked out by Andrew Sanchez. Andrew Sanchez is not a power puncher. The last time Andrew Sanchez actually got a knockout prior to the Terman fight was in 2015 in August. Um, Andrew Sanchez is just not known for his power. And, Part of the reason why he knocked Terman out was because Terman's just got bad striking defense, just so hittable off the counter, doesn't move his head at, head at all, hands tend to drop, just doesn't set anything up, uh, just clear his day, just got countered hard by Sanchez because he just has poor striking defense. It's not that he's not tough or he's not durable, but you know those issues of being defensively flawed caught up to him, and now that he's been knocked out for the first time, you never know how that's gonna how fighters can respond to that, right? So there's definitely red flags on both sides, but. 
on the feet, I think Silva will have plenty of opportunities to land on, on Terman at a frequent rate. Uh, 45% strike uh, striking defense for Terman with 3.71 significant strikes per minute, right? So Terman is absolutely there to be hit, and Silva absolutely has power. The vast majority of Silva's wins are by, are by knockout, and I think Silva could get knocked out in this fight. And on the flip side with Terman, why I like him here, why I think he – could, you know, bring this thing under 12 and a half minutes is because he is a much better wrestler and grappler here. You know, Silva wrestling and grappling from what I could see on the regional tape is his kryptonite. I've seen him taken down easily multiple times. And he's one of these guys, you know, when he wants to get back to his feet, he gives up his back and Terman is a good submission grappler. So if Silva gets taken down, I think it's going to be in, in Terman's world. Terman's in the top position. I think he'll be able to pass guard. I think he could work for a finish. And so that's really why I like the under, 12 and a half minutes here. I think they could both dominate, you know, Silva in the striking, Terman in the grappling on the ground. And also just statistically, it makes sense. You know, again, 68% hit rate for that under uh, 12 and a half minutes for both of them combined, right? So there you have it. So under 12 and a half minutes for the Silva versus Terman fight. The other one that I want to talk to you guys about is Josh Parisian over 47 and a half significant strikes. And I said it last week, but I want to say it again. I don't want to give you guys picks just for the sake of giving picks. I want you guys to see the authentic AJ, the the picks that AJ actually believes in will will cash, obviously, but also he are good, right? I don't want to get, just give you guys picks just to just to force picks, right? I want them to be good. I want the I want like being selective and um, you know, crunching the numbers, looking at information, researching everything, and then making my decision. I don't want to just blind you know, give you guys something just for the sake of giving you. Um, but anyway, to round out this sort of, you know, flex play is at least what I'm going to do is Josh Parisian over 47 and a half significant strikes. And just like the, the last fight we talked about, there's, there's a lot of logic as to why I like this here. So first of all, Parisian has a seven inch reach advantage here. And I went on and on in my breakdown about how he doesn't really leverage his, his uh, reach in general that well, but you have to subscribe to dailyfanmma.com to see exactly what I'm referring to and the rest of the breakdown. But he does throw a lot of kicks usually. It's kind of bizarre that he didn't throw any in his UFC debut because literally all this dude threw prior to that UFC debut, debut was kicks. And then in the debut against Porter, he just didn't throw any. It was pretty It was pretty spectacular, honestly. Like It's honestly impressive that he went like to that extreme, right? But anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is there's going to be a range here where Parisian, because he's so much longer than than Martinez, he's so much taller, he's got a lot of reach, where he's going to be able to hit Martinez, and Martinez isn't going to be able to hit him, right? And we know, you know, statistically, Martinez, he absorbs 4.68 significant strikes per minute. He's coming off a fight against Dantel Mays, where he absorbed 59 significant strikes in three rounds. And, you know, Parisian has just shown a far higher work work rate than Mays. You know, Parisian, uh, again, smaller sample sample size, but 7.46 significant strikes per minute. Um, he landed a bunch in that UFC debut and we're back in, in the apex. So we got a little smaller cage, you know, more activity could produce. Um, and the other thing we got to factor here is, you know, part of the reason why I do think it's 47 and a half, it might seem like a steal at a glance because Parisian's just coming off the fight where he landed over a hundred, um, is because it's factoring in the KO threat here. Right. And, and I did consider that as well. Thing about Martinez is he's actually only been stopped twice professionally in 24 pro MMA fights. Um, once was in, uh, 2011 in the fourth round and once was by a doctor stoppage. Right. And he seems really durable. Uh, does Martinez, I know that he's going to be like outsized here, but I do think that he could take the shots of Parisian Parisian. He, again, like he's got some power, but like from what I've seen, he doesn't like have huge one hitter quitter type power for heavyweight standards. So, uh, again, it could happen. I wouldn't be surprised, but I think we have enough data here to suggest that this, prop likely caches. Um, and that's my reason for giving you guys this. So again, want to give you guys a shout out again for the Silva Terman under 12 and a half minutes. And then the Parisian over 47 and a half significant strikes to those props for shout out. And then also want to shout out my promo code AJ 100 for hundred percent instant deposit bonus for up to hundred dollars. Again, that's a hundred dollars of free money. If you use that promo code AJ 100, um, that is it for this episode of price picks, free content. Want to bring it to you guys for this week. Best of luck and take care.